Hey guys, what's up? This is Bharat Nagpal. You're watching iGyan and today we have a really special box and I know a lot of you guys are waiting for this. So we're not going to take too much time in introducing it because you probably already know, you probably read it in the title. But let's quickly unbox this special box from Redmi and we know it's got the K20 Pro in there and possibly some other goodies. So let's go check it out. Let's get started. So this is a different thing from Xiaomi, they never usually send us these elaborate boxes but because Redmi is such a popular brand in India, I'm assuming that's why they've sent us this elaborate box. It kind of reminds me of what OnePlus does with their phones and sends us reviewer boxes so this is kind of like a reviewer's box. Uh, we've got this really nice packaging here. So this is an interesting box and it's a reviewer only box and I'm pretty sure that the final retail units will not come with all this stuff. So you can enjoy the experience here and uh, then get ready to buy the phone for yourself. So we've got this black box, we've got the Redmi branding over here. It's debossed, so it's like a sticker on this. It's raised, it looks nice. It's unique packaging for sure. And we also have the K logo or the K branding for their K series, of course the K20 Pro. Uh, so this is also interesting and unique. It kind of looks like an X if you don't know what it is. But of course it's the K series. And once we open this up, just like OnePlus, we also have a sort of reviewer's guide kind of thing. So we have a few pages worth of interesting information about the phone, including specifications, etc. Uh, something that I will definitely need to test this phone out. So that's a good thing that they've included all of this. Of course, they are available in three colors. Uh, the red, the blue and uh, the carbon black which interestingly is my favorite color even though a lot of people like the red or the blue. So here it is. The first thing inside the box is the box of the K20 if I can manage to pull it out. Very snug fit. So that's the phone from the box. I'm going to place it to the side one second and if we go further in we have the cases that are also included inside the box. So again, kind of like OnePlus's red case that they usually include inside the box. We've got a silicone case, which also has the felt lining on the inside to protect your phone. Very similar to what I've seen with the iPhone and what I've seen with the OnePlus. So I, in fact, have a red silicone case for the iPhone XR that is identical to this. Again, it is also available in blue. This is a very nice color as well and it is also available in black. I know for a fact that inside the box is also a black case but that is not felt lined and that is not a silicone case. That's a plastic case. So this is a silicone case and it's felt lined and it's available inside the reviewer's box. Let's put these to the side. Also inside the box is the 27 watt charger. Now this is an interesting charger because uh, the phones do support 27 watt charging but you have to buy the charger separately. I'll leave links to buying the phone and the charger in the description below so you can go check it out. So this is the box of uh, the Redmi K20 Pro. It's uh, almost identical to what we've seen from Xiaomi in the past, so nothing special with the packaging. Of course, you can see the pop-up camera on uh, the box over here. It says it's got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855. It also says it's India's number one brand because they're really proud of that. And these phones will be made in India and it says that on the back of the box as well. Something that's really important to a lot of people. It also gives you some other specifications. Of course, we are going to talk about those when we unbox the product. Where there is supposed to be pricing information, it's been ripped to shreds. So we don't know what the price is going to be, but we'll leave the final price in the description below. If I was to guess, I'd say it's around uh, 25,000 bucks starting, but I could be wrong. So rupees 25,000 starting for uh, the Redmi K20 Pro and then the Redmi K20 will also be launched. So that will be cheaper, of course. So that's my guess, but I'll leave the final price in the description below for you guys to know and also for me to know. So let's quickly cut through the packaging and see what's inside. So like I mentioned, there's a case inside the box. So I'm assuming this has the case in it. We get the SIM ejector tool, which is interesting and pretty standard. And then you have some documentation. It's a user guide along with some safety information. We've got the SAR information as well. We'll put this information up on the screen for you guys to check it out. We also have the case that I was talking about earlier. It says Redmi on the back here. It's a plastic case. It's still soft touch, 
but it doesn't have the felt lining on the inside so it's not going to be as protective as uh, the silicone case uh, that we have over here so there's a quite a lot of difference in terms of the finish and feel and of course the soft lining on the inside will protect your phone from scratches and keep it kind of clean and uh, this also has a little bit of a lip so it'll offer like frontal protection as well so here's the phone so this is what the phone looks like i've got it in the carbon black but i'll show you the other colors as well it looks fantastic i kind of really like it let me get rid of this plastic so you can see it's got a glass finish on the back but it's also got this carbon fiber texture which looks nice you can't really feel the texture it's just a design under the glass but this color i think looks the best according to me also because there is a red power button that goes really well with the black back and then you also have the red camera ring which is over here we'll look at the phone in just a minute let's look at what else is inside the box should be pretty standard stuff so we've got the charger uh, like i said it's not going to be a fast charger what we know for a fact is that the box that will ship out finally will have an 18 watt charger and you'll have to purchase the 27 watt charger separately so we have that here and a standard usb to usb c cable which is pretty normal it's a high quality cable so that will definitely come in handy for charging your phone and if you want to sync it up with your computer or anything like that so that's basically everything from the box let's take a look at the device itself okay so we can see that on the front there is some information again the same stuff that was on the back of the phone box uh, we've got a 20 megapixel pop-up camera we've got corning gorilla glass on the front as well as the back of the phone uh, which is nice so we got rid of that let's quickly power this on and see what it looks like so this is the first time Redmi is using any kind of OLED displays and we do have AMOLED displays on the Redmi K20 Pro and they are high resolution displays. Uh, they have really nice 600 nits of brightness as well, uh, which is good for the price bracket these phones will be available in one of the cheapest phones uh, with the Snapdragon 855 or possibly the cheapest phone with the Snapdragon 855 in the market. So let me quickly set up the fingerprint sensor. And we're going to use our uh, ever secure, super secure password that nobody knows. Let's set up the fingerprint sensor. So we've got an in-display fingerprint sensor. So you do have an option to still turn off personalized ad recommendations from the setup screen, as well as from the settings panel. You can disable ads because the launcher still continues to have ads. You can also replace the launcher if you don't want ads. So that'll save you some of the things but then you lose some of the Xiaomi features so you have to sort of pick and choose. Uh, the setup is complete let's look at the user interface and let's see what this phone can actually do. I also want to show you the pop-up mechanism because it's kind of cool and on this phone it looks kind of fantastic on the carbon black. It said you're ready to rock then it's saying loading apps so it's not really done. Okay so this is what the screen looks like it's kind of cool uh, because uh, you're used to this already. I've turned personalized ad recommendations off, but there are some apps that are recommended apps that are sort of preloaded um, here. And uh, if I go into the app info, I should be able to uninstall it. I can uninstall these apps from here. So you can go into the settings and uninstall it. For example, Paytm, I can go here and uninstall from here since you don't need Paytm in your life. Or alternatively, if you don't want the app, you can just swipe up, put it in the uninstall area and get rid of it. So you can remove the bloatware, but there is a little bit of bloatware on this. You do have uh, the swipe up launcher here as well. So you can swipe up to look at all the apps that are on the screen, um, which are also sort of sorted by category over here. So communication, entertainment, photography. If that's how you want to sort them out, you can use that as well. Right now it has the standard uh, uh, navigation for Android. So if I want to change it to full screen, I can go into the settings. I can go into the full screen display option here and I can change it to full screen gestures and you'll then get uh, the gestures. I don't need to learn the gestures and we're done. So we've got now full screen. Also natively out of the box, you do get dark mode. So you can go into again a display settings over here and uh, sort of turn on dark mode if that's what you want. And a lot of apps are not compatible and it gives you that warning, but it works great, especially on the AMOLED display. It looks absolutely fantastic. So let's quickly do a one over. They put the sensors in the earpiece right above uh, the top of the phone. And uh, so it's right above the display. And uh, it's uh, really out of your way. You can't really notice. Even the earpiece is very subtle. So that's nice. The front facing camera, I'll just give it a pop up right now. So uh, that's what it kind of looks like. You can see the red lights uh, that pop up. I'll show it to you once again. The red lights that kind of pop up 
while it's popping up. There's also a notification uh, sort of ring that uses the same lights is a halo effect that comes out from top of the camera that they use as a notification light. So if you get notifications, this thing will blink or inform you that you've got a notification. So if you've got messages or a missed call, you'll have that notification over here in the red light, which is fantastic. The display here is a 6.39 inch, 19.5 is to nine aspect ratio AMOLED display, which is a full HD plus display with 2340 by 1080 pixel resolution. On the front is a 2.5D Gorilla Glass 5, and the back is also a curved Gorilla Glass 5, uh, which sort of has this edge sort of thing that we see on the front of a Samsung Galaxy phones is on the back over here. The frame itself of the phone is completely metal, so it's a solid build. The phone does have a nano coating, so it is kind of splash resistant, but it's not waterproof. So I would recommend that you keep it away from water as much as you can, especially because of the pop-up mechanism. Now this is a pop-up mechanism, which is rated for 300,000 pop-ups. So it's definitely more than the flip mechanism we saw earlier. So this one is definitely more durable, more long lasting. On the bottom of the phone, you will see the SIM tray along with the USB-C port, the microphone and the speaker. On the right, like I said, the power button is in this red color. It looks fantastic on the carbon black. You also have the volume button over here. So on the top over here, you have a 3.5mm headphone jack along with the secondary noise cancellation microphone. Of course, we have the pop-up camera. And uh, on the left is absolutely nothing. You do see an antenna bar over here. On the back is where all the action is. You have three cameras, a 48 megapixel main Sony camera, which is an IMX 586 camera with a six piece lens and an f1.75 aperture on the lens as well. You do get face detect autofocus and laser autofocus, while you get a 13 megapixel wide angle lens camera with a 124.8 degree field of view. The eight megapixel camera is a telephoto lens with a 2X optical zoom. The phone can capture 4K video at 60 frames per second. On the front is a 20 megapixel uh, sensor as well, which is the pop-up sensor. It is also a Sony sensor and uh, you do get face unlocks. Camera will pop up, look at your face, unlock the device and go back in. And you also have the safety mechanism where if you drop the phone, the camera will auto retract. So all of those features are definitely there. You do have AI photography on both the cameras and you do get the standard suite of features including HDR and uh, with the zoom lens, you can also capture video zoomed in at 2X. The wide angle is also pretty wide at 124.8 degrees. So you can get a lot of detail in your shot and it's a 13 megapixel wide. Usually people will put a five or an eight megapixel wide camera, but in this scenario, you get a 13 megapixel wide, which gives you pretty decent wide angle shots. Now, we've already mentioned that this runs on the 855, but let's talk about the other features. It will be available in a six gigabyte plus 128 gigabyte option or an eight gigabyte plus 256 gigabyte option with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chip. You also get the Adreno 640 GPU. Now the 855 is a seven nanometer chip and it's this year's basically flagship chip from uh, Qualcomm and the Redmi K20 will be the cheapest phone to have it. Other phones that have it include the OnePlus 7 and the OnePlus 7 Pro along with the Asus 6Z. The RAM is a LPDDR4X RAM and uh, you cannot put in a micro SD card since storage is fixed. So you should pick the variant that you want between the K20 and the K20 Pro, you can choose anywhere from 64 to 256 gigabyte of storage. Now the K20 Pro is a fully loaded phone and gaming on this phone will be a breeze for a lot of people. It does have uh, graphite cooling, eight layers of graphite cooling, which is the same cooling technology that is being used on the iPhone, but they only have one layer. This phone has eight layers. So we've, we did see a breakdown of the phone and in that we did see the layers. It's pretty thick in terms of the cooling uh, tech that's being used. So that should dissipate the heat quite a lot. I'll be testing that out in detail. Of course, gaming on this is pretty much a breeze. We've got the eight plus 256 gigabyte variant here with the 855 chip. So uh, playing games like PUBG for long periods of time is not a problem. The phone has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, uh, which does support 27 watt fast charging. Our box did have the 27 watt charger, but uh, an 18 watt charger is included inside the box and a 27 watt charger will be available to buy separately. Uh, which will be an additional cost if you want the quick charging that the phone can support. Overall, the user interface seems fast and responsive. Uh, you do have all your Xiaomi features already on the phone, so you can duplicate the apps and uh, you can uh, do your gestures and shortcuts. Uh, those kind of things are available 
for users who are familiar with Xiaomi's uh, Mi UI ecosystem, all of those features are readily available on this phone. This is also kind of a first flagship phone with an 855 chip, which will include an FM radio at this price. Also, Redmi is not known for flagship phones. Redmi is known for mid-range or budget phones. This is the first flagship phone from the company and they seem to have done a pretty fantastic job. Uh, the pop-up camera with the red LED lights is kind of cool. And if you look at the main camera menu, uh, it's a pretty good camera user interface, something again that you're familiar with with the Xiaomi. So you can turn on the AI camera from here. You also have some filters uh, that you can choose from. You can disable, enable or put on auto HDR. And uh, then you also have a few shooting modes, including slow-mo. We've got short video over here. We've got standard video. And like I said, you can jump into settings over here, choose 4K video if that's what you're looking for. So you can shoot 4K at up to 60 frames per second. And uh, you can do that with the telephoto lens as well. So you can get 2X zoom with 4K UHD. You also get a portrait mode, which does give you lighting effects. So you can get studio lighting effects. You also get night mode and a full-fledged pro mode, which will allow you to customize your white balance, aperture, ISO, and focus manually if that's what you want. So a fully detailed camera. The front camera is also uh, pretty detailed. Let me go to the auto. So the camera pops up, like I mentioned, you get these nice red LED lights. Again, you get the same filter effects. So on the front also, you get a portrait mode and uh, you can adjust the depth before you capture the shot. So if you want a lot of uh, bokeh in the background, you can do that from here. You can go up to F1 in the simulated bokeh. So it gives you a lot of uh, depth and it does uh, depth mapping pretty nicely. Uh, we'll show you some samples of this. And of course, we'll be testing it out in detail in the full review video, which you should have already possibly seen by the time of this unboxing, I think. So that was a quick look at the new Redmi K20 Pro. So available in three colors, glacier, blue, flame, red, and carbon black. Carbon black being my favorite, it does attract a lot of fingerprints. All three colors attract a lot of fingerprints. Uh, they're glossy, they have Gorilla Glass 5 on the back, but most people really like the red color. I like the carbon fiber because it kind of looks sleek with the red power button. So that's a, a full look at uh, the Redmi K20 Pro. If you guys have any questions or queries, they should have been answered in the full review. So go check out our full review, which is also on our channel, or you can leave them in the comment section below, or you can visit our subreddit to go uh, ask us any questions about the K20 Pro, and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you guys may have. That's it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. If you're not already a part of Team Aigyan, this has been Bharat Nagpal. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> I forgot, he's like blanked out. I don't know if what we had was just a waste of time. You got 70,000 friends, but I am one of them.